brother there. Asalaamu Alaikum. My name Alaykum. is Ibra Hussain, and this question is to Dr. Zakir Naik. I have been watching your tapes on Hinduism, and the thing that surprised me is the Hindus wear the beads around their necks, and they use tasbih canting beads in their prayer. If you look at the history also of the religious men of Hinduism, they used to move their heads left to right in prayer. My question is, nowhere in the Quran or Sunnah did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wear the weeds, nor use thus be counting beads in prayer, nor did he move his head left to right in zikr, nor did he do a congregation dua after every salah. So why are the Muslims wearing the weeds, using counting beads, moving their heads left to right in zikr, and doing congregation dua after every salah? The Prophet, uh, nor the Prophet peace be upon him, nor did the companion did any of this. So why are the Muslims doing this? To Dr. Zakir Naik. Thank you. Jazakallah. If you're not mistaken, this question asked by Hindu. You said on, on Hinduism. Hindus are doing. Why are the Hindus wearing the Tavis? No, no. The, Hindu, the Hindus wear Tavis here. Yeah. And they do. They have this kind of counting beads, yeah. Rosary bead. Yeah. Hmm? When they in prayer. Hmm? So uh, knowing the Quran, so now did the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon, like Muslims do, when they say Subhan Alhamdulillah for the counting beads. The Prophet do, didn't do this. So I can't understand the question. Are you talking about the Muslims are doing, or the Hindus are doing? The so why do the Hindus doing? follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why? Why, no, no, why no. are the Muslims doing that? Why yeah, Muslims you know, are doing? Yeah. Similar, it's a practice of similar Hindus. as the Hindus are doing. Yeah. That's right. So your question I understood correctly now that the Hindus wear taweez and wear the rosary bead, etc. Even the Muslims are doing that, even though the Prophet did not do. So why are they doing that? That's the question. Brother, as far as the taweez that is there, I do know that it's done. There are taweez are worn by some groups of Muslims coming from, not in India, there are even other parts of the world. And many of the Hindus also go to these dargahs, etc. and they wear the taweez. And again, the rosary bead, it is done by the Christian, done by the Hindus also, done by certain groups of Muslim also. Though you are perfectly right that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we don't find any hadith. In fact, tying the taweez, it leads to shirk. Well, if you have to ask for help, you have to ask to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala only. If you ask to anyone else, that leads to shirk. So these things are normally have crept into the religion, though it has got no authentic source. And many of the things that have crept in is mainly because in India, if you analyze, our great great grandfathers, they were Hindus. Some may be having Arab blood, but most of them don't have Arab blood. Fine. So, because many of us accepted Islam, our earlier great great grandfathers, there you find that they have changed. So, when they change the religion, something which is there in our previous culture, a previous religion, something remains. So that's the reason instead of going to temple, now we are going to Dargah. So these practices have stuck, which is wrong. So what we have to do, we have to convey the message to these Muslims that you don't find such practices anyway in the Quran and the Sunnah. Certain things which is not against the Sharia. And if it's there in the culture, it can be practiced, certain things. Which is not going against the Islamic Sharia. You can practice. But there are certain things which goes against the Islamic Sharia, like wearing a taviz. Fine? And doing zikr in the way which the Prophet never did. So these things are against the Quran and Sunnah. We have to educate these Muslim brothers that if you have to do any worship, it should have, the, the worship you do should be somewhat similar, which is mentioned either in the Quran or the Sahih Hadith. What is not mentioned in the Quran and Sahih Hadith, we Muslims should not do that style. So we have to educate them, brother. Hope that's the question. Jazakallah khairan. Um, a question on behalf of the sisters. Uh, 